more seriously. Still with health news, if you need medicine to help fight off an infection, you go to a doctor, right? Well, now there's a growing trend across the country that f making pharmacists able in many uh, jurisdictions or provinces to fill prescriptions with uh, little or no assistance from the uh, GP. This month, Saskatchewan announced that come the summer, pharmacists there will have the power to dispense drug refills if the patient's doctor is on vacation and provide medicine in an emergency. And in some provinces, patients are already able to get an antibiotic from the pharmacist to treat a minor urinary infection with without having to go to the ER. This is all said to improve access to health care by freeing up physicians. And let's zero in on Ontario. Joining us right now to talk more about the changes, Iris Kruchenko from Dell Pharmacy. Hi, Iris. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. So this legislation is through in Ontario. In terms of actually kicking in, where are we at right now? Well, I'd like to begin by mentioning that in Ontario, we have almost 11,000 pharmacists that work in 2,800 bricks and mortar pharmacies. So there's lots of us and we offer accessibility. We're open extended hours of operation. We're open on the weekends and the evenings on Wednesday afternoons when many physicians offices are closed. So there's lots of us and we're accessible. You don't really need to make an appointment to see your pharmacist. And really we are considered the medication expert in the community. So we're very, very excited and pleased that the Ontario government has asked us to do more to help the healthcare system to improve oh. patient access and ultimately to reduce emergency room visits. So in December of 2009, Bill 179 received royal assent at Queen's Park in Ontario to allow pharmacists to do more. And where we are right now is that uh, the regulations are just in the sort of embryonic initial stages of being drafted at the Ontario College of Pharmacists. Okay, now, and of course, yeah, t front and center, this legislation was to deal with, you know, the great Canadian wait time in here in Ontario, and it really has become an international embarrassment just getting to see a GP and to get this attention. So this is hopefully going to streamline the process and among the many smaller steps to improve the bigger picture. So in terms of how this works, in coordination, for example, um, do you have full access to patient information to ensure there's no conflict, for example, with medications? Well, that's a very good question. And what I'd like to do is give you just some examples of what this enabling legislation will allow us to do. One of the things that we will be asked to do is to extend uh, refill prescriptions where patients have run out of repeats. So, for example, if we use asthma as an example, a patient is on their inhalers chronically and for whatever reason have run out of their medications and there are no repeats remaining we must right now legally be in touch with the physician's office to get consent to renew that prescription. The reality is sometimes that's a very difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. Either it's late at night or the physician is unavailable or can't get back to us or it has gone on holidays or the patient is leaving the province. So in that case, the patient right now has no choice but either A, to go without their medication, which is really not what we want. We do not want treatment interruption or they have to make their way down to an emergency room uh, for a visit to in order to get that prescription. So in this scenario and under a prescribed protocol, we would be able to extend that prescription, bridge that time, and again, communicate that back to the physician and allow them to know what we've done in that scenario. So that will, we know, reduce emergency room visits and improve patient care. Certainly a step forward in improving uh, the situation for patients. Well, thanks so much for the information. And again, there's more information online as well, dellpharmacy.com. Thanks, Iris. Thank you, Bob. All right, Iris Kurchenko joining us from the newsroom. And that wraps up Health News mm -hmm. at 719. And now,